All right, so I'm working on a case right now where a consumer claims to have suffered absolutely horrendous burns from using our client's product. And I want to talk to you about the use of expert witnesses to defend yourself. So here's the story when it comes to litigation. You have plaintiffs and they hire lawyers who work mostly on a contingency basis. They're plaintiffs, lawyers, a lot of them are called ambulance chasers. I used to be one and I absolutely loved it. So that plaintiff's lawyer is going to get paid by keeping one third usually one third of the recovery and that's their fee and if it's a big case you make a lot of money for not doing a tremendous amount of work it's also a lot of fun so we are now on the defense side so what are we looking to do we're looking to hire an expert witness to poke holes in the plaintiff's case to show that the injuries were caused by the plaintiff's conduct in this case that the plaintiff used water that was extremely hot in our client's product and that's what caused the damages. That's what caused this person's burns. You also want to try and find expert witnesses to put the blame someplace else. In this case, our defense is going to be super, super easy because in order to suffer tremendous burns, the water has to be tremendously hot. But overall, this is something you should know, that in litigation, that's how expert witnesses are used. Either to show that the incident caused the injury, if you're the person bringing the lawsuit, or if you're the defense, to show that the story the plaintiff tells is not right based upon the science, or that the facts really show that the plaintiff or somebody else caused the injuries. You wanna learn more about litigation that Amazon sellers face, Contact me, I'm here to answer your questions and I try and make myself available to you seven days a week.